Apple's iPad 2 is expected to be the big release from the company whose tablet was just named the best of 2013. Rumors surrounding what Apple will do to upgrade the top-selling iPad Air and when it will release are heating up following the close of MWC 2014 and the onset of events like uh, WWDC 2014, where Apple will likely show off its new generation operating system and might even unveil a product or two. Now, anyways, one of the things that the tech community learned from MWC is that the tablet market is going the way of waterproof devices. While Apple is known to zig when everyone else is zagging, the last few years have shown a willingness for the iPad and iPad Air to compete with the growing market. While most rumors have dealt with the iPad Air 2 featuring a larger screen size, faster processor, and Touch ID, in terms of competition, it would make sense to upgrade the processing speed as the Samsung Galaxy family is outperforming Apple's tablets lately, but one feature that they could add to the iPad Air that would help it stand out and would be quite a unique feature is waterproofing. So, a lot of other devices have already got this. Um, Sony has begun a new race in the quest for best tablet, and with the Xperia Z2, the Japanese company has thrown down the gauntlet on waterproof technology. Touting itself as the thinnest and lightest tablet, the Xperia Z2 is able to actually be fully immersed in water. Try that with your iPad Air, and good luck. The Samsung Galaxy S5 phone was also unveiled at MWC, and it features the same waterproof features as the Sony Xperia family. The question is, does Apple see waterproof technology important enough to include it on the iPad Air 2. Although Sony has avoided the US market, Samsung is Apple's toughest competitor and the decision to make their phones waterproof means the tablets aren't far behind. Apple has yet to release a waterproof iPhone, let alone a waterproof iPad. Now if rumors are correct and the iPad Air 2 will release by fall of 2014, then it is not likely that Apple will make any significant overhauls to the next version. It's a lot more likely that their strategy will be more similar to that of Samsung, with a lot of new features, but not necessarily a redesigned design. Anyways, would a waterproof iPad be nice? Well, definitely, considering users would be able to access their tablet in more private places. Is it necessary? Probably not. Anyways, what do you think? Is waterproof technology a useless fad for devices, or would a waterproof iPad Air 2 from Apple be of any interest to you? Let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!